hope you're all strapped in and got a good head for heights. We're based in Delamere Forest, which is uh, just below Frodsham, just off the M56. Go 8 is a high wire forest adventure. The course is split into uh, five different sites. Each site starts with a rope ladder onto a platform, anywhere between 20 to 40 footers in the air. And then a series of obstacles take you around. Um, each one's made up of between six to 10 obstacles. And then you finish off with a zip line back onto the ground. And then you land onto a big wood chip area, get nice and dirty on the ground, and then you walk through to your next site and start all over again. We take safety here very, very seriously. When everyone turns up, they get given a harness with their equipment and they get given a full briefing. Once you're up, you're responsible for your own safety and you're clipping yourself onto the safety system. However, we're about the forest and we supervise you for the first couple of sites and then we patrol every other site. Um, so the safety is, is absolutely paramount to what we do. We have so many groups coming along. So first of all, we have stag dudes, we have hen nights, we have groups of colleagues, groups of friends coming along just for fun. If people are nervous of heights, uh, it's a really good way to get over your uh, perceived fear of heights. That's really good. It's really good for kids as well. The minimum age is 10, and it's really one of the only opportunities they get to experience risk in a controlled environment. We've also had an 86-year-old on, uh, which is fantastic. He didn't do all the whole course, but he did a fair chunk of it, and he really enjoyed it. <laughs> the highest point on the course is about 40 foot. The longest zip line on the course is 220 metres, which really gets the adrenaline going at the end. And you're in the air for about 30 seconds, would you leave, so that's, that's really good. <laughs> The best bit was the last zip wire, the one we've just done. And the worst bit was the big cars and swing. I think my mum will be really proud because we're both a bit scared of heights. Bit of a nerve wracking, but uh, overall it was a fantastic experience. Delamere Forest is an amazing place. It's so large, we've just tipped the surface seeing what we've seen here today. Uh, the meres are the best bit for me, the lake. They're absolutely beautiful with the wildlife. Um, and there's just so many ways to enjoy the forest as well, of which we're just one. And for those of you who'd rather keep your feet firmly on the ground, throw away your sat-nav and try some orienteering. Orienteering is essentially an adventure sport, which can be taken part by anybody respective of age, fitness or degree of navigational ability. I believe that it was first introduced into this country in the 1960s. Uh, it has its origins back in Sweden where it was used as a military training exercise. When you orienteer, you follow a preset course on a map from a defined start point to a finish point and in, in between you have to stop at a number of control sites. If you wanted to get involved, there are a number of things you can do. Uh, in Delamere, you can go to the forestry office where the map of the permanent course is available. Also, you can contact our local orienteering club, which is Deeside Orienteering Club, who would give you further details of orienteering both in Delamere and in the local area, or check out the British Orienteering Federation website. It gets you out to wonderful places that you would not otherwise visit. You can achieve competence reasonably quickly but it's very, very difficult to master. <laughs>